the tropics are coming alive. We have a Franklin and we also have that disturbance out there in uh, the Atlantic. We'll get to that later. First of all, we're looking at uh, Franklin, the fifth named storm of the season, making its way across the Yucatan Peninsula, set to bring some heavy rainfall there, the possibility of a life threatening flash flooding there as well. We'll talk about that later on. But meanwhile, we've got an area of uh, disturbance, uh, basically just a tropical wave, an area of low pressure there. Uh, this one is uh, not set to develop, it has a low chance, uh, less than 20% over the next uh, few days. And even as it goes further out, we'll like to see it become a rainmaker for the most part out towards uh, the northern Leeward Islands, but also drag some cloudiness across uh, the entire Eastern Caribbean through midweek. So at least uh, for tonight, mostly clear skies. In T Tobago, could see some early morning showers pushing through that will continue after sunrise going in to uh, most parts of the afternoon, especially down to along the southern parts of Tobago. And then some of that cloudiness may begin to come across into Trinidad, especially along the north coast as you go through early morning. So if you are down around uh, Blanche Shares into Toko, watch for the clouds to build as we go through the morning. A few showers are popping up across uh, the northern range, pushing into Digo Martin, uh, Piarco, the usual areas during the heat of uh, the afternoon. And there is a slight chance of one or two of those showers maybe turning heavy, but there's a slight chance of possibility of a uh, thunder rumbling through there as well. But for the southern areas, do look for just the clouds to build, especially after lunchtime, with a couple of those showers coming into San Fernando and Maruga. So temperature-wise, then, looking at uh, lows of 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 26 in uh, Tobago, possibly no higher than 30 around Crown Point under the cloudiness, maybe a touch higher than that out towards Scarborough with some sunshine there. As we go through Wednesday, still a mixture of sunshine and showers. More clouds, however, expected on Thursday, possibility of some heavier bursts there. And then on Friday, things drive quite nicely and quite brilliantly as we get towards lots of sunshine for both islands to end the working week. So in terms of heading offshore, or heading to the beaches, if you're heading along to Vestony, it's pretty calm there. Out towards the Maracas, just about one meter as you get it closer to the shoreline. But further offshore, it's one and a half meters out there in the Atlantic. And you've got your low tide at 10.30 a.m. and your last high tide at 5 p.m. Now, across the Caribbean, we'll be looking at uh, Franklin, which is uh, basically this area here. You can just see it, the swirls making its way across closer to the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, this here is uh, set to be near hurricane strength as it gets closer to the shoreline, but it is set to be a rainmaker for definitely a lot of uh, the thundery clouds, especially set to bring some life-threatening flooding as well as storm surges for the Yucatan Peninsula. But for Havana, there's some spillover expected. A few thunder clouds are likely through Tuesday, possibly into Wednesday, but for Kingston and most of the, the Greater Antilles, mostly settled, 33, partly cloudy, and just the occasional showers coming and going. Out towards the northern Leeward Islands, there's a bit more cloudiness here, just a pocket of moisture which will blanket uh, most parts of Antigua as well as St. Kitts. Further south, you get joined with a lot more sunshine, lots of sunshine coming out in Barbados as well. They should enjoy the best of it. And then down towards Georgetown, the afternoon rumble is likely on a high of 33 degrees Celsius. So therefore, first in Trinidad, then quite hot at times, 34 likely to high, but you'll still likely see those showers coming by from time to time. So that's your weather, and that's from me.